she wants? A spoon? No, no. She wants chicken to bloom. She wants a gold to bloom. I distinctly heard her say she was going to bloom.
magic on this night, this night, and this moonlight. And the breezes from heaven begin to blow. He had the royal goldsmith make him a tiny round golden moon, just a little smaller than the thumbnail of Princess Lenore. And then he had him strain on a golden chain. You have made the moon. That is the moon. Well, the moon is 500,000 miles away. It's made of bronze and is growing like a marble. Uh, that's what you think. Are we you beginning? Have you ever to turn outside the castle? Have you had my place to it so it won't float back up into the spot? Did you get permission for all the loads of garbage? Did you fill up the forms of duplicate? None of these, Your Majesty. I have the moon right here. And before anyone can stop it, the court jester bent down and gave the little gold coin the princess put on. Oh, the moon! Thank you, thank you. I'm sure I feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? She's better? Just like that? Apparently so. Sometimes solutions are much simpler than we expect. Well, that was absolutely amazing. After all that fuss and worries, the princess is charged. Just like that. I wonder what she'll think when she sees the real moon shining up in the sky through her bedroom window. That should be interesting. Which what? Oh dear. If she sees the moon shining up in the sky, she will know that the one she's hanging on the chain around her neck is not the real one. And then she'll get sick again. But your highness, I've already thought of that. You want to stand on your hand. Because then I can think upside down. <laughs> Right. I'm thinking right side up. It takes longer. I know what we can do. We can stretch some black velvet curtains on poles. The curtains will cover all the palace gardens. And the princess Lenore will not be able to see through them. So she will not see the moon up in the sky. Black velvet curtains would keep the air out. Princess Lenore would not be able to breathe. And then she would be sick again. Get out of here, you, you, Joel Bird! Stay for the real last magician! <laughs> you from Kate Middleton's inner circle. You sold for Kate Middleton? Well, not actually Kate herself, but someone very close to me. Well, actually, her third cousin's neighbor's daughter, who moved here in 1969 and lives across from Skeleton Park. <laughs> the FDH, Worth Choice Hair Cutters. <laughs> I'm hooked on hair. Get it? <laughs> she does not have calluses and debris. <laughs> yes, to keep her hands looking that clean stuff. I'm going to hear after we soak and scrub. We'll paint your nails. Your screen, I can tell. What daughter needs to get well? She wants the moon, not gospel, gowns, goons, tucking and soaking her. If you have no more sensible solutions, get well, some people have no aesthetic appreciation. We speak of beauty as an art form. Prophets wow. are often shunned in their homeland. Comes with being ahead of your time. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Lenore was lying in her bed, but she was still wide awake. 